Hello and welcome back to week 2, unit 5 of the S Open SAP course on system conversion to SAP S4HANA. My name is Martin Schmidt, I am S4HANA product expert and I am your host for this unit conversion of accounting preparation in SAP ERP. In the previous unit I gave you an overview of finance specific activities in system conversion project and explained when exactly conversion of accounting comes into play. In this unit, we will take a closer look at the preparation phase and require task you have to do in source SAP ERP system before starting a system conversion. So, how can you start preparing for S4HANA conversion? As a first step, you should review simplification items relevant to your system. You need to understand which major changes you will face when moving to S4HANA and which activities are required from you to react to these changes. Secondly, consistent and correct customizing settings is mandatory prerequisite for finance conversion. You can check the consistency of your finance configuration by running simplification item check. Based on the results of the check, you need to make then necessary adaptations. Thirdly, to minimize the runtime of the conversion and to reduce effort spent dealing with data quality issues, we recommend archiving data from previous fiscal years. Uh, in the previous unit, I already talked about how important for successful financial data migration is to have clean and consistent transactional data, how a company can end up with data inconsistencies, and what impact it can have on the conversion project plan. In SAP ERP, there is a number of reports available which will help you to identify data quality issues in your transactional data. You should be sure to plan enough time for the detection and especially cleansing data inconsistencies in the preparation phase of the conversion. All these activities I mentioned you can perform well in advance before the actual conversion project starts. Then just before start of downtime as a part of cutover, you execute period and closing activities. We also recommend documenting your financial data for later comparison. To make this comparison possible, you have to carry out the selected reports for current year just before conversion. Uh, you can run reports you normally use to document your financial closing, like a financial statement, like the open line item lists, uh, list of GL account balances, etc. You can store the results, for example, in a local file, and after the conversion, generate same list and compare, to, compare the results. As I mentioned, a good starting point for uh, finance-related preparation activities is to run simplification item check. The simplification item check will examine consistency of your company code, ledger and controlling area settings. It will also inspect uh, asset accounting configuration and check if closing activities were completed properly. The result of simplification item check will help you to answer the question like uh, is my SAP ERP configuration settings consistent? Are mand all mandatory prerequisites met? What do I need to change in my customizing before starting with conversion? Another type of checks contained in the simplification item check is so-called relevance check. It will give you detailed overview which simplification items are relevant for you based on transactions you used, based on the data you got in the tables, based on the configuration. So you will get a list of functional and technical changes. You need to go over this list in uh, detail and determine what is the impact. In the previous unit, we already mentioned that some of the functional changes are extensive with an impact which can be compared to implementation of new component. For, for instance, uh, classic cache management has been replaced with newly developed solution as for HANA cache management. This is a new application which of course has to be deployed and configured. Even if you want to continue using classic cache management scope of functionalities in S4 HANA, you still need to set up parts of new cache management configuration and perform an initial data upload. Then we have a SD credit management which was replaced with SAP credit management technically FSCM credit management. Again, you need to understand what the changes are when compared to SD credit management and you have to have the right skills to be able to configure the solution. There are some activities during conversion 
when you need to migrate customizing, master data, and credit exposure, but it's not only about the technical task. You need to have a resource in the team with uh, SAP or FSCM credit management functional skills. Another topic for statutory and tax reporting, we have a new solution called Advanced Compliance Reporting, which replaces the classic tax reporting based on ABAP reports. There are plans to slowly sunset the old reports which have been replaced with the new, sol new solution and you need to incorporate this into your conversion planning. For financial planning, of course, customers are recommended to use SAP Analytics Cloud or BPC. Uh, both of these are new components, different from old planning engine within com core SAP ERP. Now, in all, in all these cases, you should get familiar with new functionalities and solution, evaluate technical prerequisites. You might need to migrate the existing data, tra train people, and also adapt uh, business processes. Now, one of the most important functional changes in finance coming with S4HANA is mandatory introduction of new asset accounting. The new asset accounting is a functionality for handling parallel valuations. It's not completely new. It has already been available for customers with new GL Active since SAP ERP Enhancement Pack 7. However, now in S4HANA, the new asset accounting is mandatory. And if you do not have it active in your SAP system yet, it must be activated during the conversion process. And for this, there are certain prerequisites which need to be met. So first, you need to have a new depreciation calculation engine in place. The engine is available since 2005, but we still see many customers who don't have it activated. So what is it? It's a functionality which replaces the old logic for calculation of depreciation, which is based on asset movements, with the new calculation logic, which is based on period intervals. Activation of new depreciation engine doesn't require any migration, you just need to switch on generic business function EAFIN. And if you have some custom enhancement of your depreciation calculation, you need to transfer them from uh, old user exit into newly provided business add-ins. You need to make sure that you set up a depreciation area for each of your parallel currencies, which are assigned in the company code settings of the general ledger. Uh, parallel currencies are also known as uh, second and third local currency. In financial accounting, you can manage a company code in up to two additional local currency types. In asset accounting, for each additional local currency, you have to manage separate depreciation area. This was also a requirement in the past in classic asset accounting, but the checks were less strict then. Uh, now in new asset accounting, due to the design change, it's a mandatory prerequisite for activation of new asset accounting. So in order to set up a new depreciation area, you need to do the necessary configuration and then run the report RFB, RFAB new, which add, adds newly created depreciation area to existing asset master data. What is important is that implementation of new parallel currency depreciation area must be done in SAP ERCP system before you run Software Update Manager. It is not possible to create additional parallel currency areas in S4HANA after you perform technical conversion. Before conversion, we also recommend that you archive all asset accounting relevant data of the inactive company codes. It means all company codes, which in asset accounting customizing have status company code deactivated, later reporting activated, uh, for each of such company codes, you need to fully archive all data. If the data are not fully archived, you will get an error message during the pre-checks and you will not be able to continue with the conversion. You need need to execute archiving before the technical installation of S4HANA, so still in SAP ERP system. Besides mandatory prerequisites, you also need to be aware of several important limitations. One of them is that the new asset accounting is not possible for depreciation areas to have fiscal year variants with different starting and finishing dates. 
If in your SAP ERP you have a fiscal year variance with different start and end date assigned to the ledgers used in asset accounting, you will not be able to continue with conversion. Possible solution involves an introduction of additional ledger, which normally requires to undertake a separate new GL migration project. The other limitations are concerned with real estate and lease accounting. In the past, SAP has provided two versions of real estate solution. The older version is Real Estate Classic and the new version is called Real Estate Flexible. If you use Classic Real Estate, you won't be able to activate new asset accounting. Also, the lease accounting engine doesn't support the new asset accounting. Now let's move to the preparation activities in area of general ledger and controlling. In this part, there is also simplification item check, which will help you to analyze what are the mandatory prerequisites. So it will evaluate, for example, currency settings for company code and controlling area, if they are maintained correctly, are there any user exit or bodies implemented that are possibly incompatible with the ledger concept of S4 HANA, are company codes uh, correctly assigned to controlling areas? Are the fiscal year variants in the company code identical with the fiscal year variant of the controlling area? For example, in classical ERP system, it was allowed that uh, fiscal year variants differ in the number of special periods. But this difference is not allowed anymore in S4 HANA, since FI and CO are sharing the same database table for storing the postings. Now, if you have material ledger already activated in your source ERP system, there are some customizing activities you need to perform already in SAP ERP before starting S4 HANA conversion. You have to define explicitly, explicitly the currency and valuation types that are relevant for material ledger. In S4 HANA, separate currency customizing of material ledger has become obligatory. It is not allowed to use a material type that references to currencies settings defined in FI or CO. If you do not adapt customizing, you can still do it at the later stage as a part of preparation and migration of customizing activities. Actual costing is still optional in S4 HANA and it is also not possible to activate actual costing during conversion. Therefore, it's recommended that you review your actual costing settings as a part of preparation for S4 HANA conversion already in SAP ERP system. Okay, here on the slide you can see the consistency check and transactional data which you can run in the source SAP ERP system before installation of SAP S4 HANA. These checks include a bunch of programs for reconciling general ledger with various subledgers and components such as asset accounting, material management, and special ledger. Most of these programs are well known and commonly executed on a regular basis as a part of closing process in finance. We have two dedicated data consistency check programs for asset accounting, transaction code ABCT and ABCT2. First, you execute ABCT2, which compares asset GL account balances with asset summary records in table NLC. This check identifies all GL accounts where there is a discrepancy between GL account balance and asset values. The output of the program is list of GL accounts per company code with differences uh, in amounts between asset accounting and general ledger. In the next step, individually for each of the affected GL accounts, you run transaction ABCT. Here in the first step, the asset line items for each fixed assets are compared with the asset summary records. In the second step, asset line items of a fixed asset are summarized per each document number and compared with general ledger account line items posted to this fixed asset. In addition, you may, you may find standard asset reports such as asset history sheet, or asset balances helpful when evaluating the consistency of data in asset accounting. Then we have two checks available to reconcile material management with general ledger, transaction MBEL5 and FAGL underscore MM underscore recon. 
Both of them compare the stock GL account balances with the total of stock values as recorded in materials management or material ledger. They display the total value of the stock together with stock GL account balance and any deviations between them. The program FAGL underscore MM underscore Recon is primarily designed to read stock values from material ledger. If material ledger is not active, it reads values from MM tables. Then we have transaction G, GCAC, which compares the totals records of any two ledgers. You can use this program to compare standard general ledger totals with any standard or standard or custom defined special ledger totals table. Because it's a generic transaction, it works with all applications which are based on the special ledger concept, including classic profit center, accounting ledger, uh, ACCC, uh, consolidation staging ledger, or consolidation ledger. Then we have com two comparative analysis reports, SAP F190 for system with classic general ledger, and TFC underscore compare underscore VZ for a system with new general ledger implemented. They are used to compare values from document line items tables with transactional total tables and with secondary application index tables. The FI consistency check uh, program RV index performs another collection of checks in uh, AR and AP area where it compares, for example, document uh, headers with the line items, uh, search for missing document headers, uh, check clearing transactions, etc. The disadvantage of these two pre-checks, RFE index and uh, comparative analysis reports, is that they might list inconsistencies which do not have any impact on conversion. It means that not all errors reported need to be corrected for conversion. Therefore, the tools require a certain level of technical expertise to correctly interpret the results. Also, runtimes of FI consistency checks and FI comparative analysis reports can be significant. As one of the last steps of preparation activities, you execute the financial close. There is no requirement to execute the conversion at the beginning of a fiscal year, and the conversion itself can be performed any time during the current year. However, the previous fiscal year must be fully closed and this is especially relevant for the use of asset accounting. In asset accounting, you are not allowed to reopen previous fiscal year and post any adjustments after conversion to SAP S4 HANA. So first, you need to make sure that you have carry forward all balances in all applications and ledgers to the current fiscal year. Then, just before the start of downtime, as a part of cutover, you need to carry out the usual period and closing activities for the previous fiscal period. In asset accounting, you perform periodic asset postings completely, uh, run the recalculation of plant depreciation, do your depreciation runs, make sure there are no update terminations, and once more reconcile asset accounting with general ledger. In controlling, if you already use account-based profitability analysis, you perform a delta upload to SAP BW for all accounts-based COPA data resources for which you use the delta procedure. This is necessary because otherwise account-based COPA line items that they are not extracted before the migration might be ignored after the migration when the new delta is loaded. If you are on classic GL, you reconcile reconciliation ledger in controlling with FI. In material ledger, if you already have actual costing active, complete all costing runs before system conversion is started. After system conversion to S4, S4 HANA, it will not possible to do any changes on costing runs created before system conversion. In general ledger, if you have been using valuation ba for balance sheet preparation function as a part of the classic general ledger to evaluate foreign currencies, you have to set the valuation difference in the open items to zero. This means that you have to reset the valuations for all periods in the current fiscal year by using foreign currency valuation program. If you do not do reset the valuation, this could result into incorrect values after migration. And finally, 
lock all periods in finance and controlling, and document your financial data for later comparison. As a last step before starting soft sum, I recommend to run simplification item check once again to make sure that everything is green. Now, some of the finance preparation activities, especially for co customizing and cleaning up data, can be addressed well in advance, even before starting SAP S4 HANA conversion project. For instance, I recommend that you consider setting up separate pre-projects for uh, uh, data archiving, cleanup of data inconsistencies, cleanup of vendor customer master data, and activation of customer vendor integration. Also, we can do a separate pre-project for a new depreciation engine activation. You can even activate new asset accounting before starting with conversion. You can do other required adaptation of customizing in finance, for example, setting up new depreciation areas for parallel currency as a separate pre-project. And you can also consider moving from accounts approach to parallel ledgers as a separate project. So with this, we come to the end of the preparation activities in SAP ERP system. We are now ready to, to hand over the system to technical team to run software update manager to perform technical conversion. Once technical conversion is completed, we will continue with conversion of, of, of accounting. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.